Hello, and this week's problems are all about percentages. Now, a lot of them look quite tricky, but I think with the help of a couple of little diagrams, they'll be quite easy. Now, the big, big thing we've got to remember, it's our golden rule. There we go. The golden rule for finding percentages of numbers is we always try and find 10% first. So whatever it is we're trying to find a number of, if we always try and find 10% first, we'll do all right. So we have got... 20% of Megan's number is 64. So I'm going to draw a little block here. Okay. This block represents 20% of her number. What is 50% of Megan's number? Well, the first thing we need to do is follow the golden rule and find 10% first. So if we know 20% of the number is 64. Well, 20% of our number is 64. We need to find 10%. So how do I get from 20% to 10%? Now I'm going to use times and divide today to do this because when we're thinking about fractions and percentages, we multiply and we divide to find equivalents and other fractions and other percentages. So 20% to 10%. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. So I half 20% to get 10%. I half 64 to get 32. So 10% of my number is now 32. We'll just move this up here so it's out of the way a little bit. So we know 10% of the number, but we don't want 10% of the number. We look at the question, we want 50% of Megan's number. So if 10% of the number is 32, so here's 10%, that's worth 32. So 20% will be two lots of 32. 30% will be three lots of 32. 40% would be four lots of 32. And 50% would be five lots of 32. Okay. Another way of expressing that, like we've done before, might be 10% of our number is 32. How do I get from 10% to 50%. Well, I times 10% by 5, so I have to multiply the value by 5 as well. So, 10% of something is 32. 10% times 5 is 50%, so I times 32 by 5 to work out what 50% of that number is. Next question is similar in that we have got a missing number. In this case, we're not actually having to find the number. We just need to explain how we could work out the original number. Now, sometimes when we're trying to explain something, what people do is they try and use lots of words. But because this is maths, we can do our explanations with numbers and with diagrams and with maths facts. Okay. So I'm going to go through how I would do it. You might come up with a slightly different way or you might use slightly different diagrams. But this is a way that will work. If you know 40% of a number, then explain how you could work out the original number. Well, I would start by drawing my 40%. So here's my 40%. Now, I always, golden rule, have to try and find 10% first is my golden rule. So if I knew 40% of a number, to find 10%, I would divide that by 4. And that would give me... 10%. So if I know 40% of a number, I'd find 10% by dividing that by 4. So 40% of my number would be something. Divide my 40% by 4. That would give me 10% of the number. Now once I've got 10% of my number, I think, well, how many 10% do I need to make 100% of the number? So 10% times by 10 is 100%. So to find 40% of a number, I would divide the number by 4 to get 10%. Once I've got 10%, I would take whatever 10% is and times it by 10 to make 100%. Why do we have a look at that as an example? So I've just shrunk that down there. If you know 40% of a number, explain how you could work out the original number. So... Imagine we knew a number, we knew 40% of that number was 24. Okay. So 
of my number is 24. So I've got my number. I know it's worth 24. I know that's 40%. I divide it by 4 to find 10%. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So 10% of my number is 6. Okay, Because 40 divided by 4, divide 24 by 4 as well, gives me 6. Now I know 10% of my number is 6. But I want 100% of my number. So 10% times by 10 is 100%. So I multiply my 6 by 10 as well. So 6 times by 10 is 60. So what was my number? The number I started with was 60 because 100% of something is 60. So 100% is all of it. So all of 60 is 60. So that's how I would find out the original number if I knew 40% of a number. Right, and on to our last two questions. Question three divided into two questions here. We've got 30% of 60 is something. So 100% of 60 is 60. I always find, because this is my golden rule, which we've talked about before, my golden rule is find 10% first. So, if I know 100% of 60 is 60, divide 100% by 10, I get 10%. 10% of 60 is then, I divide 60 by 10 as well, 6. So 10% of 60 is 6. So I want to now go from 10% to 30%. So how do I get from 10% to 30%? I times by 3, so I times 6 by 3 as well, and that gives me 30% of 60. Now the second question, or the second part, is a little bit trickier. This one says 30% of something is 60. So here's my something. I don't know what it is. I know 30% of it, that would be 3 10 percent is 60. So these three blocks, that 30% is worth 60. Okay, to put it another way, here's one block, that's 10%, that's 10%, and that is 10%. That is 30% of my number. I know 30% of that number is 60. So how do I find 10%? Because that is my golden rule. Always find 10%. First, okay. So I put it back. I know 60 is made up of three blocks of 10%. So I divide 60 by 3. That will give me 10% here. So 60 divided by 3 is 20. I can check that by putting 20 in each block. So this 10% on the left is worth, is worth 20. This 10% of my number is 20. This 10% here is also worth 20. Now I know 10% of my number. Once I know 10% of my number, everything gets easier. So 10% of my number is 20. So if I know 10% of my number is 20, 100% of my number is 200 because I times them both by 10. Hope you understand that. I hope it makes sense. If you do understand it, then you can use this to solve many, many problems which feature finding percentages of numbers.